Hello, this is Lord's Legion, and welcome to a brand new movie review, and as you can see, this is a part of the series known as The Path to Infinity War, where I'm going to be looking back on each and every film within the Marvel Cinematic Universe up until the release of Avengers Infinity War. And after 10 years of build-up, we have finally reached to the conclusion of the MCU as we know it. And after so much hype, we finally have Avengers Infinity War. And before anyone asks as to why this review is a day early, is mainly because that I've seen the film earlier than most people, but don't worry, this is going to be spoiler free. But the real question is, does Avengers Infinity War live up to the hype? Well, let's find out. Now all you really need to know about the basic plot in relation to Avengers Infinity War is that we have the main villain in this movie, Thanos, trying to collect all of the six Infinity Stones so that he can wipe out half of the universe, as he believes that the universe itself is oversaturated at this point. And so it's up to the Avengers, the Guardians of the Galaxy, Black Panther and Wakanda, Spider-Man and Doctor Strange to all group together into stopping the Mad Titan and his army. And this is about as all as I can tell tell you guys without spoiling anything. But the real question is, does Avengers Infinity War live up to all of the hype and expectations? Well, to tell you the truth, Avengers Infinity War gives you everything and nothing. And the movie itself is satisfying, but at the same time underwhelming. Oxymorons I know, but if you actually watch the movie then you would understand what I'm talking about. And I know that this isn't a legitimate answer on whether or not I enjoy Avengers Infinity War, and to tell you the truth, I think it's a really great movie. And when I say that's both satisfying and underwhelming at the same time, it actually works within the story's narrative. And when people say that Avengers Infinity War is an emotional train wreck, it really lives up to that expectation. And I mean that in a good way. Now normally I would talk about the main villain later, but in this case I really have to begin by talking about Thanos, and truth be told, Josh Brolin does a phenomenal job as the Mad Titan himself. And after all of the hype and build up, it's safe to say that Thanos does actually deliver on his promise. And I know that many people will be sceptical about Thanos walking in, mainly because his backstory has been cut from the movie, but in my eyes, Thanos has it all. He's incredibly intimidating, beyond dangerous, and just an all-around interesting villain. And yet, his goals are beyond twisted, but when you actually get to understand his motivations, you can kinda get where he's coming from. And in many ways, Thanos is the main character in this film, and is also the hero of his own story. And while I'm talking about the other villains in this movie, I do think that the Black Order are a little disappointing. They do have their kick-ass moments, don't get me wrong, but I was hoping that they would have been a bit more explored. Although if there's one member of the Black Order who sticks out above the rest, I think Ebony Moore takes it, and kinda has the most time to shine in comparison to the other members of the Black Order. And as for the other characters, for the most part this movie does balance out people's screen time rather well. Sure there are several characters who I felt like deserved a bit more to do, given the large cast it is surprising that they did mostly balance them all out. And even if some of the characters are a little underplayed in this movie, chances are they will get more more time to shine in the next one. And on top of all of that, there are some characters who you don't expect to see in this movie make an appearance, while there are some characters who you do expect to see in this movie get completely cut out entirely. And out of all of the main characters, I do believe that Thor has the most time to shine in this movie. And in many ways, this film can somewhat be for Thor. And Chris Hemsworth does a fantastic job. He does have a lot of emotional moments, and he does also kick a lot of ass in this film. And speaking of characters who kick a lot of ass, Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man does do a fair bit of ass kicking in this movie as well. And some of the stuff that his armour is capable of doing is absolutely insane which does leave for a lot of creative moments within his fight scenes. Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange was a very important character in the entire film, and he did have a pretty interesting character arc, to which actually does develop this character even further. Not to mention we also have Chris Pratt as Star-Lord, and he does have a lot more angst in this film, which is something that I didn't see coming, but at the same time, it does work within his story arc. And I'm really happy to say that Zoe Saldana as Gamora does have a lot of time to shine in this movie, and is easily one of the main characters. Plus, it was really nice to see her relationship with Thanos. And we do get to witness a bit more of her backstory. 
that surprisingly Tom Holland as Spider-Man does appear a lot more than I originally thought, but at the same time, I can't complain because he was really well handled here. Although the final character who I think really does shine in this is of course the Scarlet Witch, and Elizabeth Olsen does a really good job as her character. And plus we do get a better understanding on how powerful she really is. Now this movie does have a lot of things going into this, and the story itself is actually split into three sections. And in a way, the story is structured in a non-linear fashion, which is an interesting change of pace. The effects in this movie is sort of hit and miss, but for the most part it does really land hard. And it is really fascinating to visit different planets, and look at how varied the environments are. And believe me, there are a ton of fight scenes in this movie, and almost all of them were handled extremely well. And by the time the movie is over, it's safe to say that Avengers Infinity War is by far the boldest and darkest film in the MCU. And believe me when I say this, but the ending for this movie is a complete mindfuck. Because the ending goes in a direction that you wouldn't see coming. And I do have a strange feeling in that this ending will have the last Jedi effect in that some people are going to be extremely pissed off. Although it really does depend on how open-minded you are in terms of films. And at the end of the day, we can speculate on Avengers 4 all we want, but in hindsight, we have no idea what's going to happen next. And although Avengers Infinity War is the first part of the bigger story, this film still has a clear beginning, middle and end. And after watching this movie, it is safe to say that for the most part, Avengers Infinity War does live up to the hype. And like I said earlier, Avengers Infinity War is somewhat bittersweet, but in a good way. And sure, I do wish that I could have seen a bit more from certain characters, as well as how some of the CG was a bit hit and miss, and how the overall story seems a bit messy at times. Given how giant this movie really is, it's a real shock to me that for the most part, Avengers Infinity War does legitimately deliver on its promise. And so for the final verdict for Avengers Infinity War, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 9 out of 10. Where I would rank this film out of all of the films in the MCU, I have no idea. I am pretty confident in saying that I think it's in my top 5. Because Avengers Infinity War does have a lot going on that it is hard to take it all in. And so I would have to watch this film a few more times before I can judge it in a better light. But for all it's worth, Avengers Infinity War is a really great movie. So what did you think of Avengers Infinity War? Do you think that it does deliver on its promise, or do you think that it's somewhat lackluster? Comment below and share some thoughts. And as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Take care, and have a good one.